Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Pyland. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I want to talk to you about a man who was arrested for killing his girlfriend or wife because she changed the channel while he went out on a smoke break. It was pretty bad and it was over a bad, oh, it was over a football game too. It was terrible that it happened the way it did. And I came across this after I finished my yesterday's show. And um, I couldn't believe that he would do such a thing like that. I mean, don't be afraid to change the channel back to the way you had it. You don't have to argue with anyone. There's no reason for it. You know, sometimes people have arguments over things that you just wish they wouldn't. And um, I have to say that, you know... The things that I came across this year alone, in the beginning of 2018, well, this ranks right up there. I heard about a different swatting incident as well. This time, a family of six was recently a victim of a swatting incident as well, a few days after the previous one, where a man was killed because the cop thought he was holding the family hostage. Only discovery he was not a video gamer at all. And um, the police are still looking for the one who caused that family to go through that mishap. Um, and I also came across another story as well. Um, where a hotel is telling locals they can't stay. Because it's for out-of-towners. Well, that practice has been around for quite some time. One hotel had to do it because of party crashers so to speak. They allowed a senior citizen to stay there and then she ended up inviting her family over and then they ended up crashing the place so they had to change the policy. Well, one couple booked, um, booked the Best Western Hotel and ended up getting their money back when they found out after the fact that the policy stated they couldn't go in because they were planning to travel at the time. In late June, early July, I stayed at Days Inn due to a bed bark problem. And I've never had an issue like that. So why did that couple have to go through that? Um, it just makes you wonder. What were they thinking when they did that? And why it even took place to start with? And my opinion on hotels is everyone's welcome as long as they don't cause any problems. And I don't have to mention what they are because most of you already know about them anyways. What I can tell you is, when we come back, my friend Sean Hardesty joins me. Stay with us. And welcome back to the show. Now, my guest Sean Hardesty is here today. Welcome, man. Well, thank you for having me on. It's glad to be on again. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you heard so far about the hotel thing. What's your opinion on that? My opinion on the hotel thing, especially if there's people that are needing homes because their pipe's frozen over, Mm -hmm. why the world just go ahead and give them the stay at the hotel instead of turning them away like that? Like, I have several friends that used to work at hotels, and none of that happened around, at least around here in this town in Abilene here, mm -hmm. where people would be turned away for pipes freezing over. Yes. It's just one thing leads to another, and people just act out of line at times. I saw it on one of my friends' pages, and it just totally made me mad about it, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I could... When I first read it, I, I was in shock, so... Yeah. Yeah, and, um... And, as I said earlier, I stayed at Days Inn due to a bed bug problem at my parents' house. And it was a terrible thing to go through. Mm -hmm. I mean... I mean... For, to, to think that a hotel will turn away guests like that, why does it even take place to begin with? Right. And um, and we're almost through with the part two. And um, did you hear anything unusual recently about um, anything that you haven't said to the Kevin Pilon show? No, not to my knowledge. Okay, that's. So. I'm glad you haven't heard anything unusual. I came. Ac I do come across some things, but anyways. It's good having you, and um, 
We'll be back with the forecast after this.